Welcome to Mix, it's weekly roundup time again, and um, as I was afraid, uh, last week uh, Body Power did knock out the, the weekly roundup video. Um, I, I, when we weren't exhibiting there, but we were going around, a few of us went up there, few meetings, check it out, see what's going on, say hi to a bunch of you folks, so um, thanks for, for the, those of you who stopped us. Um, and yeah, we're in the southeast here, just southeast of London, so a bit of a trek over to Birmingham too, but it, it always ends up wiping out the weekend. I'll do a bit of a Body Power uh, roundup right at the end obviously most people are more excited about the new stuff we've got and we've got a bunch um just uh yeah body power roundup just for those of you interested what we got up to what we saw um and well there you go anyway um yeah new things uh, it seems to be an oddly, um, we've got a good range of stuff here for you. There's a slight vegan leaning, as we'll get to. But um, yeah, lots of PhD stuff. PhD, not a brand we do a great deal uh, with on the supplement side of things. We've got one or two bits in the store here, but I don't think we've got anything. Oh, no, I tell a lie. We, we have the, the smart proteins, because they're pretty cute. Some good flavors, like the lemon and everything, and the salted caramel. They're up on site. Um, good proteins to bake with and things. Um, but yeah, we don't do a lot with their supplements. Just snack-wise, yeah, on and off over the years, always had bits and pieces from them. And they seem to be on a bit of a roll at the moment. The Diet Whey Bars, yeah, I, I, um, I personally like them, but um, they're not great sellers for us, so I'm not sure they will stay on. But the Smart Bars always been popular. We've got the full range of those in the mix. And um, yeah, we've got something brand new from them too, sort of in the Smart range, but we'll come to that. So, most fun thing, launching here. I did mention this last video. Unfortunately, I didn't have any of the bars on me. They actually, the uh, stock hadn't turned up for me to show you this one, but it is suitably um, fun, wacky, exciting. Uh, it's a birthday cake. Yeah, to cut a long story short. Um, so you can't have failed to see this bad boy. Um, pink, colorful. Millie did a great shot we put up on Instagram. Was very well received. Um, yeah, we love a birthday cake flavor here. We love sprinkles. Uh, it is always one of the house things, sort of, Sprinkles and cinnamon kind of <laughs> tend to be more products than anything else, certainly the ones that we go mad for. Um, and this couldn't look better, actually. So Fair Play uh, PhD with your Smart Bar range, always quite clean, um, trustworthy branding. Uh, but with the birthday cake um, overhaul it's been given here, um, yes, it's, it's pretty cute. I mean, we, we obviously... Battle Bites did a great job with their birthday cake, and they're quite similar bars, I'll show you in a sec. But um, yeah, it's like a Homer Simpson classic sprinkled style ring pink donut thing um, that they've, they've um, spread all over the bar here. What's inside is a tiny bit unusual though, um, so with no more ado, I will open it and show you. I'm sure a bunch of you guys will have seen this. In fact, if you're at Body Power PhD work, we're running around with usherette trays and, and making everyone try these things. So um, yeah, judging by the, the number of these we've got going out the door, they're being well received, and indeed it was a good promo. So, ready for the big reveal. I'm going to save this for the camera, actually. Uh, do I need another? Tell you what, back pocket it. Maybe uh, I can do this with a shot. Uh, I am on my own again today. Hello. Um, so, yeah, a bit of jogging back and forth, and I'll try not to make it super long, but ready? There you go. So, pink, cute wrapper. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. Okay, so this is, this is where I whip out the other one for the sake of the shot. There you go. Hopefully that's focusing, doing some exciting stuff. Let's see. Oh, I was like looking at the camera just to make sure I'm actually getting what I think I'm getting. Come on. Come on. There you go. Pink knobbly. Uh, <laughs> pink knobbly. White chocolate. Obviously knobbly, colourful sprinkles, add good texture, add good little bursts of flavour. Um, and inside, you can just about see it, there's kind of, there's kind of dark bursts. So they've, they've done something a little bit unusual here, and it's along the lines of their white shot blondie, actually. They've gone for kind of chocolate crunchies rather than the default sort of plain vanilla ones you might get in something like this. So that's protein crunchies. So I'll take a bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Tipping this bar is not a great idea because it's going to go everywhere. Oh. You get the idea. Loads of chocolate crunchies. That's a bit of a novelty. Um... White chocolate, um, kind of you know, vanilla infused core, uh, pink fondant, uh, and then the sprinkles and the white chocolate on top. Okay, enough of me shaking there in front of the camera. Mmm. Excuse me, I've just been to the gym, so quite a lot of pre-workout probably coursing through me still. But I was determined to get this video done for you guys, even though I'm running behind this weekend. Mmm. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Really nice. Mmm. -mm -mm. 3D at the ready. Just what I need. More caffeine, right? Um, woo! Okay. You've seen that. See me enjoying it. It's a fantastic bar. I will put this out here. Um, 
yeah, hundreds and thousands of style sprinkles rather than the, the sort of longer strands. Either way, uh, delicious, adds to the texture as well as the taste. Inside, uh, they've done exactly what our friends over at Battle Bites, Battle Snacks rather, did with this one, in that they've taken the kind of white chocolate, the vanilla, the sweetness that you associate with uh, birthday cake products, whether in protein shakes or bars and stuff, all the American ones, and they've infused fruit. So this is this is key for us. It brings it closer to a sort of Victoria sponge, perhaps the kind of typical birthday cake we um, we might get in this country. Uh, but more than that, it lifts it up. It makes it more exciting. So there's no odd, weird lemony note like we've had in Combat Crunch bars in the past when they did a birthday cake. No, it, it's kind of full-on raspberry, Victoria spongy, strawberry, uh, jam jelly experience with the fondant running through it. Not only that, it, it's pink, it's cute as well. Offsets the whiteness. Obviously, the chocolate crunchies too. Does it taste inherently of, of dark chocolate? Not really. It maybe reigns in the sweetness just a tad, which is a nice touch. Uh, but it's, a, it's, it's creamy uh, white chocolate sweetness all on the outside all through the center of the bar. It's fantastic. And of course, with these bars, um, the smart choice and the rest, high protein, low sugar. It is indeed that. 20 grams of protein, 2.2 grams of sugar, about 230 calories a bar. They usually fall out. 236, there you go. So more or less in the same ballpark as the very popular salted fudge brownie, uh, the white chocolate blondie, the, the old school, you know, kind of the, the OG uh, chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, great range of bars. Similar format as you've seen to some of the others, like the Warrior bars, the Neutramino bars. Very, very, very close in format but none of them have done birthday cake. PhD pulled it out the bag first, and this is to celebrate the second birthday of Smart Bar, which has obviously been ridiculously popular for them, hence being in supermarkets and the rest, uh, and popular in the mix at that. Um, so you go, they're in the mix now, uh, and you won't be disappointed, definitely try that. It's a birthday cake experience, probably like no other. Sort of similar to the, the Battle Bites, I say, uh, but there's a, the Smart Bar twist, and obviously slightly bigger bar, very satisfying. Yeah, it's awesome, check that out. PhD, so this is PhD in stereo today. We've now got something totally different from them. So, jumping from the dairy side over here, uh, we're dumping, jumping to the dairy-free, plant-based, 100% vegan, gluten-free, um, all natural as well. I mean, these bars really do tick every single box. And what's most amazing is they still taste pretty damn good. Uh, they've still got a decent texture. Um, and uh, the nutritionals, though, I mean, we're, we're never the first to go mad about the macros of these things. Obviously great when they're very justifiable, that, that's brilliant. Um, but vegan bars, we always struggle because often, certainly when vegan bars tend to be all natural as well, uh, brands tend to shove dates in there, or maybe more nuts, seeds, fruit, whatever else it may be. And whilst it's all great, all good for you, all natural and the rest, um, it does tend to push the calories, certainly the sugars, right up through the roof, and it doesn't tend to offer you any extra protein. So vegan bars would tend to be lower in protein, maybe 15, 20% lower in protein at best, and uh, in sugars, yeah, about the same again, and sometimes triple, quadruple the sugar. I mean, you know, you get three grams of sugar in these and some of the carb killers two grams or less, and then vegan bars, second you put in, um, whether it's, it's normal sugars or whether you put in dates and things, yeah, you'd be looking at 10, 12 grams of sugar a bar. Um, and not the end of the world, depends on your diet, but obviously in terms of the day-to-day -day justifiable things for the average kind of gym girl we're used to in the mix, um, it's less appealing. Until now. So PhD have delivered chocolate-coated uh, as well, I should add that in, full-on decadent flavors and experience, but yeah, all natural and only um, about two or three grams of sugar. So let's, I think, um, we do the stats on the entire range. We've got four flavors. Um, all four are uh, around about 260 calories, so slightly higher fat that pushes that. But um, again, it, it's awesome when you bear in mind that they are less than three grams of sugar, some as low as two, some as sort of up to three, uh, less than nine grams of carbs, that's insane as well, um, and up to 23 grams of protein. So I think the lowest is 21, uh, and this is 20. So for a vegan bar, for a plant-based bar, they've, they've scored more protein, equally low sugar, equally low carbs, if not lower carbs, um, and yeah, there's a tiny bit more fat in there, but that's only because there's sort of almond paste, peanut paste, uh, paste things going on. So there's actually nut butter kind of keeping it moist, keeping it exciting, adding some crunch here and there. Um, phenomenal. And we've got fun flavors and, and they've got the same sort of great PhD smart bar look on them. So yeah, these bars are almost too good to be true. Uh, and I'm not going to take you through all of them, but I'll say we've got coconut cashew. This is arguably the most vegan flavor of the lot. The cashew is quite a distinctive flavor and not all you guys like the chocolate and coconut combo anyway. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Um, there's a, a chocolate toffee popcorn, which has proved to be the best seller, almost tied with the choc peanut caramel. Um, and these are, yeah, pretty damn decadent. I'm going to show you the choc toffee popcorn popcorn because toffee popcorn in a bar again I don't think any of the dairy ones have done it so it's like a vegan one and it's a and it's a first um, and it's actually got yeah popcorn in it so it adds a bit of chew it adds some of the authentic flavor 
It's genuinely an interesting bar. And then we've got a sort of default uh, chocolate brownie one, I think which is quite dark chocolatey, uh, so it's a nice counterpunch to what's inside, and um, it's quite sweet. Usually these things aren't that sweet, they have leaned quite heavily uh, on the sweetener, and there's sort of stevia and things going on in there, but there's no bitter aftertaste. That is a sweeter bar, um, but uh, yeah, equally nice. I prefer the Chop Peanut because of the authenticity, uh, authenticity of sort of snicker, snickersy type thing, um, and yes, the Chop Toffee. Chop Toffee I'm going to open and bring in. Lovely golden wrapper, picture of um, to uh, popcorn there, 21 grams of protein, 2.4 grams of sugar, all gluten free as well, I should say, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, soya crisp, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let me just show you these things. So, same deal. I'm going to come in again. Oh, back pocket it. Well, from the outside, there's, um, hello. Uh, from the outside, there's very little to, to show here. Incredibly smooth, um, impressively smooth bar. You, see, you can kind of see some of the popcorn just appearing through the bottom of the base there. Um, yeah, I'll bite this again. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. It is drier than the, the Dairy Smart Bar we've just seen, but there's no um, there's no obvious caramel fondanty layer in these things. So you will notice that. We do miss it a tiny bit, but there's so much flavor packed into the core. Um, some good texture going on there, so you can see chocolate crunchies. Mm, can I find you some popcorn? Hang on. Maybe, maybe. You see that? My fingers look huge. There we go, there, that. In there is popcorn, and there's a few of those kind of not crunchy kernels at all. They are soft, um, chewy. Mm -mm -mm. There is an earthiness. You're going to know this is a vegan bar for sure. Um, I say for sure. I mean, you are going to know, but it's not in any way offensive for those people who just think shy away. Like, oh no! And for the great nutritionals and stuff, um, it's cool what comes with it. They, they, I mean. Yeah, I'm not about to lean heavily on selling these to sort of non-vegan sympathetic kind of plant-based folks, but it's definitely an interesting counterpunch, and the texture, uh, a little bit drier, maybe a tiny bit chalky inside, you could say, if you're being unkind, um, is actually quite pleasant. I don't know what I can liken it to. Sort of fudge, it's, it's kind of like a flakier fudge, I guess. Um, but the popcorn really breaks it up, and you've got kind of uh, protein clusters in there, protein crispies in there, or little uh, nutty nibs in some of the other flavours. It's just awesome. It's... Um, it, we saw the nutritionals in these things and thought, no way, absolutely no way are these going to taste any good. Because, if I mean, if you could pull this off, surely some of the other brands we tried, um, and, and we're always looking for things like this, would have done it before now. Actually, they haven't. Like, PhD really do have something unique here. We haven't found any other vegan bars with this amount of protein, you know, these awesome nutritionals, and, you know, this kind of great taste, all natural gluten-free and stuff, and the rest. So, yeah, I can't say enough nice things about them. I'll still caveat it, saying it's a vegan bar, but... Um, this is probably the bar uh, all you plant-based folks um, have been looking for, whether it's vegetarian or vegan. Um, it's, it's pretty stellar. Um, well, there you go. Yeah, uh, there are four flavors in the mix. We've done a new uh, bundle for that, I think. Oh, Millie will kill me. What do we call it? Something about plants. Uh, get your smart plant fix or something. No, I've lost it, unfortunately. I've let you down on that one. There is a bundle available, uh, and they're all in there. They're roughly speaking the same price as these ones too, so there's no mad vegan premium. Um, and definitely, yeah, check them out. Check them out. I think you'd be really impressed, certainly with the popcorn and the, the chocolate peanut caramel. If you're going to try one of them just to give these guys a go, um, those are the ones to look into. I think Cashew's been the slowest seller, as you'd imagine. Um, there you go. So that's the vegan thing there. What's next? I've actually done a list to try and steer this because I'm already running over. Um, bit of a segue, actually, I'm going to do from this one. Um, birthday really uh, is always, a, as I say, a popular flavor here. We've just had announced, in fact, it's live on site as I do this. Uh, the bulk of the stock's turning up. We went through our samples early, but yeah, most of the stock's actually uh, on the way to us as we speak. Shipping on Monday. Um, birthday cake. Da -da 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 -da. Applied nutrition. Um, indulgence squares. I think they call called indulgence bars, but I think they may be rewording it to squares because they might have some other bars on the way. But there you go. Really, really nice. Thornton's kind of millionaire's flat, um, millionaire crunch uh, sort of squares um, that these remind you of. So it's this chocolate, there's the, the, the caramel layer, uh, there's a sort of biscuity, crunchy, protein-packed base with sort of protein crispies in it. Um, yeah, surprisingly nice bars. Blew us away. Uh, they've got a brand new flavor coming. In fact, two brand new flavors coming. First up, we've got birthday cake. That's, as I say, on site now. Uh, that's the first white chocolate one, uh, laden with sprinkles. And then there's the, the sweet fondant layer and sweet vanilla running through it. Very, very sweet. Very, very over the top. Um, but that's, that's fantastic. Um, 
So yeah, we're gonna do a bundle of these two. I haven't set it up yet, but it'll be coming. And there's white chocolate salted caramel. Ah, oh, how good does that sound? So um, yeah, very in vogue flavor from them as well. That's coming. And um, they actually tell me there's some vegan ones coming too. So maybe they'll even rival this. Yeah, it could be a bit of a, a vegan renaissance in terms of snacks and nutritionals going on at the moment. But yeah, keep an eye out. Um, so that's, yeah, that's those new things done. Okay, other things, these are actually vegan too. So I'm gonna use that as a bit of the seg uh, here. Um, we've got, we'll start here, Skinny Food Co. Syrups. These guys, I don't know what they're up to over there, Wayne and James. Uh, there's, there's new SKUs coming at daily. So as soon as we put in a big order to try and grab what we can, and they go out of stock a lot, um, they launch new things. So we just got these ones in and I actually sent messages to the guys saying, you know, please don't release anything for a bit, let us catch up. And if you might see my Instagram post, where I sort of joked about that. It's just, you know, we've almost given up trying. Uh, actually, they just launched, I think, three new ones. There's um, rhubarb and custard, uh, fruit salad, and oh, I can't even remember. Um, there was a third one too. And there's uh, a flavor they haven't even announced yet. There's a new secret one coming up, probably in the week ahead, um, that's going to actually go with a couple of the other products we've got here. <clears throat> um, so yeah, more to look out for from them. But anyway, what we have now, grab what you can because they're all awesome. Uh, we've got the white chocolate and raspberry. So that probably tastes actually not dissimilar to this one. Uh, so yeah, white chocolate is the best seller in this stuff. It's, it's very thick, it's very gloopy, it's very indulgent, but obviously calorie-free, gluten-free, vegan, all the rest of it that comes with these sources, especially nothing in them, um, it is, is probably the, the, the most decadent for kind of the least, um, the least trade-off, as it were, uh, and so is a custard, actually, that goes well, but the white chocolate is the best seller, then salted caramel. Uh, white chocolate raspberry adds a fruity note to it, great for summer, uh, sure you guys would like this as a bit of a counterpunch to the already popular white chocolate you've been stocking up on. Then we have some more traditional fruity one, well, ones, well, it is one on this one, blueberry, no fuss with that, tastes like blueberry, um, it's a slightly more liquidy texture, one of them, but again, great on ice cream, great in flex bowls, great on desserts, goes with loads of stuff. Um, then, okay, I've done this out of sync, let's swap here. This one that looks a little bit scary, neon toxic type thing, uh, I assure you it does not taste as such, it, it kind of tastes like traditional bubblegum uh, candy. Um, you might think, some of you, that who the hell would want this? That's so weird, what would you have it with? Actually, these flavors, and we've, we've had a Frankie's Bakery one in the past, have sold surprisingly well. So personally, whilst I like the flavor of bubble gum, I, I can't really think what foods you'd put this with, yet some people must use it for something. I mean, maybe it goes in drinks or something, I have no idea. Either way, quite popular, and uh, although it looks like it, it is um, yeah, certainly far tastier than um, washing up liquid or blue loo or whatever else. But yeah, good fun syrup. Um, and then finally, we've got a savory one too, so it's not just the sweet stuff these uh, wizards do. Um, it's savory, so zero calorie, vegan, blah, 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 all the usual stuff. Garlic and herb, um, quite a popular one, maybe not as much as garlic mayo that we have from them or the sweet chili and things. Uh, or barbecue, barbecue's always a bestseller of these. Um, but this one is, uh, reminds me, it's kind of um, Domino's pizza and you know the dips you get on the side with like the garlic bread and the things. But the, the sort of garlic and herb dip, always a big fan of that. Um, and I only really eat it when I get those pizzas, which is not as frequent as it used to be. Um, but yeah, that, that approximates that quite nicely and it's another one to add to their range. We do, as I say, have a load more bits and pieces coming. We've got restock in the week ahead as well on the Easter cream. That was the slightly belated Easter special that they, they, they released. We did try this one. Um, it does actually taste like the, the sort of fondant inside a cream egg. God knows how they pulled it off. Uh, again, slightly odd. You may wander out of season. Why would you want that? Uh, but it, it's sweet, it's indulgent, and it breaks up the monotony if you've got sort of low-calorie diets so you're having oats and flex bowls and, and yogurts and whatever else. It's another, uh, it's, it's you know, very, very sweet, very, very exciting. Um, but calorie-free uh, flavor to add to the mix. So we do have a lot of that coming back in along with some other new stuff as well. Um, ah, what else? Um, yes, okay, same thing. Uh, essentially calorie free, I think it's like two calories a cup or something they say, but vegan and pretty much nothing else in it. We've got three new flavors from Beanies. So we've had these flavored coffees uh, on for ages. They're always sort of, um, uh, you know, subtly good sellers in the mix. We rarely, really promote them. We do have a post ready for this because these are fun flavors. Uh, but as they got the exclusive on these, we've got sticky toffee pudding. We have got white chocolate raspberry. Uh, so, you know, nice snap with that. And um, yeah, hot cross bun, again, very Eastery, a little bit belated, but that's a, a kind of um, fruity mixed spice one. Uh, tastes as you'd expect, obviously with the, the obviously the, the strong, bold, slightly bitter coffee undertone that you get with all of these things. So um, personally, I add sweetener on top of this. 
little bit bad, um, but whether it's, it's Hermositas or even kind of like a salted caramel syrup or something like that, maybe one from these guys uh, to bang up the sweetness a little bit more. The flavors are always really, really good. Um, and I don't, uh, yeah, I certainly won't hesitate to recommend sticky toffee pudding. Um, probably the best seller we have is the cinder toffee. Cookie dough is always weirdly popular, but I, I never got on so well with the flavor there. I'm not, you know, it didn't really, it's not like cookie dough I'm used to, but then again, it is a coffee. Um, the cinder toffee always does incredibly well, like the nutty hazelnut and stuff. But yeah, this is like cinder toffee, uh, cinder toffee uh, times two. It's a richer taste. Um, yeah, sticky toffee pudding looks fun as well. White chocolate and raspberry, first white chocolate flavor from them. Um, I did have a good sniff of that one. It smells very good. I haven't actually had the, the luxury of trying that one yet, but the whole uh, coffee and fruit combo may not be for everyone, but yeah, white chocolate, how could we resist? Those three, that trio are in the mix right now. We tried to get these about a month ago and they wouldn't share because Asda had the exclusive, but now we have them. Um, and they're, they're all in the mix along with all the other great flavors. Um, so that's it. That's probably about it on new things. Um, Okay, restocks. Uh, uh, Swalsom, we got a bunch of Swalsom back in this week. Wasn't all the flavors, uh, but we topped up the uh, Triple Choc, which unsurprisingly has sold out already. Um, we are just going to double the orders on the Triple Choc going forward. It's overwhelmingly um, popular. It, it's easily the most popular flavor. It's not hard to see why. It's got great nutritionals, and it's, it's kind of like the, the classic. It's one of the earliest flavors uh, Maddie uh, um, and we put together. Um, and yeah, you can't really beat it. It's a you know, full-on chocolate experience, the sort of fudgy brownie center, the chocolate coating, the drizzle. It's, yeah, it's no wonder it's a big winner. Um, and we got Cookies and Dreamy back in. Um, what else? I think we're waiting on, we, this is the point, we've got some more coming. So I think only Triple Choc is out of stock at the moment. We've got the vegan bars, we've got um, Cookies and Dreamy, I think we've got Birthday Cake, uh, Snickerdoodle might have sold through, but we, we do have more coming basically. So the white chocolatey ones are coming this week. Um, and yeah, we did meet Maddie at Body Power as well, I'll touch on it in a bit. Uh, and we're going to start working on some new stuff now. She's pretty much set up in the new place, it's getting there. Uh, so uh, hang on, yeah, loads more exciting stuff coming. Um, America Labs restocked as well. We got fortuitous keepsakes back in, been really popular. We've obviously been sampling it in orders. Um, so that's these giant things here. Uh, and this will segue onto Body Power in a second because we met them. Um, so we got fortuitous keepsakes back in and double stuffed, uh, like their full on cookies and cream one. That's back in as well. Um, Right, that's it. So, okay, new stuff, restocks. You've got a bit of an idea. Lots here. Uh, I've spoken at you for way too long, as usual, but we've tried a few. Oh my God. You know, I've just ignored something that's actually sitting on the table. It's because I missed it off my list. Um, yeah, we got something brand new from Fort Effect. This snuck in uh, earlier this week, kind of midweek after the Body Power thing. Um, we did do a post on it. It's kind of snuck under the radar a tiny bit, but this is the Honey Almond Fort Effects flavor um, from their multi layer crisp bars. Fort Effects bars we got in. Oh, a month ago now, six weeks ago. Um, slightly different format bar, all coated. It's about 50% granola, so there's a wonderful inclusion stuffed crunch going on here. It's a tiny bit more indulged in about 260 calories, but the, the sugars are still uh, down at around about six grams of bar, 20 grams of protein. They're gluten-free, they're veggie-friendly as well. Um, yeah, it's something just a little bit different. Um, and uh, we have pretzel, which is my favorite with sweet and salty crunch. Uh, we've got the peanut butter, which is rich, creamy, and indulgent, and it's probably the best selling one. And then we've got the chocolate, which is a kind of um, very, very sweet, darker chocolate. Uh, not my favorite one, but yeah, they're all in the mix, and there's a 40 fix bundle. Get your 40 fix in the mix. So I did remember that name. Um, this has joined it, Honey Almond, uh, one of the original four, it was, well, it's the newest of the flavors, uh, only just got it in in time for Body Power because the distributors were there with the brand. Um, and yeah, it's fantastic, as you'd imagine. I, I'm not going to open it. The, the post we've done on Instagram will show you what the cross section is like. It's very, very sexy. Um, this is probably tied first for me with the pretzel. Um, more honey than it is almond. Almond is in there, real almonds are in there. They add a little bit to the crunch, but uh, there's no marzipan note as such. It's just basically sweet, and the robust honey thing is drizzled on top. It's the only white chocolate one as well. So that always, again, gets a ticked uh, box from me, kind of like with this. I always make a beeline for white chocolatey things with my rampant sweet tooth. And um, yeah, this is right there. You've still got the decadent kind of um, nut butter infused center and stuff. So it's all the great stuff about that range, kicked up a bit with the white chocolate, and yeah, the, the, the honey adds a sort of robust natural sweetness that, um, yeah, it, it's uh, very addictive and it's very delicious and yes, in the mix. Okay, that really is all the new stuff I'm gonna cover for now. There's probably other things I've forgotten, but that'll do. Body Power Roundup, um, 
Okay, uh, we went on the Saturday, uh, so it's, it's a show that runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, most of you probably know. Um, it's, uh, we've exhibited at it before, a uh, couple of years in the past, and I've worked on actually stands before that with Nuts and More way back in the day. So I've been going to this show since 2011 maybe? Like, long, long time, even a couple of years before I even started Pick and Mix in 2013. And um, I saw it grow, and I, I think you, you kind of have to agree it's, it's sort of um, on the decline at the moment, although to be fair, this year was better than I was expecting. Um, changing market, changing appetites and stuff, you'll notice a lot of the big brands don't go to it anymore. I guess they see a better return on investment, uh, advertising online, doing more specialist niche shows, um, or indeed not doing expos and stuff at all. I, yeah, whatever. But the Grenade, the first year I've not seen them there. That's a bit sad. I've always associated them with body power. I'm sure a lot of you guys miss them as well. Um, Quest, not there. They haven't really been there for a couple of years. But again, I always associate Quest with being there. Uh, muscle food, I'm no big fan of muscle food, uh, but again, I, I, they've always been synonymous with body power for me, whether it's, it's freebies, pizzas, snacks walking around, the, the, the guy wearing a chicken suit or whatever it was in the year, some of the ads in the toilets, I, you guys will know what I mean if you've been there. Um, who, who else? I mean, PhD were there, but a smaller affair, and they were concentrating on their foodstuffs. In fact, that was the official launch of the vegan bars. Um, USN, again, they've been giant sponsors before the entire event. Now, they were just a small stand doing their trust range. Trust stuff, really, really nice and very consumer-friendly. Um, and the, the bars are brilliant, actually. They remain great sellers for us, but again, much smaller stand from them. Um, Obviously, there's no things like SciTech they pulled out a few years ago. So the list goes on. A lot of guys who weren't there. But forget that. They, they, there's always people turn up, and it's still a great congregating place. It's still a great place to have meetings, see people do some awesome stuff. There's loads of great events going on there, loads of good talks going on there. So I think you do need the people to create the buzz and the atmosphere. And certainly the Saturday, it got it. I, got, I wasn't there on the Friday. I wasn't there on the Sunday. I heard they were a bit quieter those days. Uh, so I know some of the athletes that maybe will just do the Saturdays that always pulls bigger crowds. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. If you went on the Friday and um, you were, you know, came away thinking, oh, that was that was a bit of a downer, um, then I'd just say do it on the weekend going forward. Like, I, I think probably what they should do, not that anyone really cares about my opinion, is they should probably make it a two-day affair rather than the three, condense it into the weekend, maybe lose a couple of the halls, because at the beginning it used to be like three or four halls, I think, it was much smaller, and they massively expanded back in 2015, 2016, when they were, it, was, it was growing so rapidly. Um, and I think they could probably condense it now. Don't take any stuff out, but just make it more intense. Back to the good old days when you used to have to shuffle around like this to actually see things. I know queues are boring and the rest of it, but it's so, so much more fun with all the buzz and just bumping into these, you know, huge athletes and these sort of, you know, fitness celebrities and people you see. Yes, good getting back to that. Anyway, the good stuff about the show. Um, yeah, the Saturday was buzzy, so we did have good fun. We got our meetings done. Uh, Ghost were there. Obviously, great to see them. I had to catch up with Dan um, on that. Loads of exciting stuff. Boom! Check that out. So, these are sort of... Um, I don't know, like hen's teeth or what was the old expression, but it's not exactly easy to get these in the UK. Uh, Dan was good enough to hook me up. Um, they are coming, incidentally. So uh, my favorite, I haven't actually tried the grape yet. I'm working through it, but the the uh, the Sonic, the um, the cherry lime, and oh, that's the wrong tub. The cherry limeade one is exceptional. I think this is probably my favorite Legend flavor to date. I know we don't really know what Sonic Drive Through Drive In is, uh, but the cherry limeade flavor is unreal. Um, and yeah, it's like fizzy pick and mix cherries, exactly like that. Vividly, vividly red, um, very, very sweet. Uh, so yeah, that's jumped to the top of the thing for me. Um, and the Welsh is grape juice. I haven't tried that. Apparently it is very uh, true to fruit, very... Um, I'm just going to check the camera still recording, actually, because again, being solo, I've actually got... Yep, and I've hit 30 minutes. Lovely. Okay, nearly done. Promise nearly done. Um, yeah, they're fantastic. And the mango burn, mango flavor, absolutely delicious. It just needs a little cocktail umbrella shoved in or anything. Wonderful flavor. Um, and even if the burn uh, one with, with a slight, there's a peppery note to it from a couple of the ingredient shifts from the legend, uh, it, it's still absolutely delicious. Best drunk longer, though, for those of you who did get it. Um, I, I've been told by Dan, all these are coming. They've just got to do some reformulations to, well, both of the products actually for the European market, but they, they are going to happen. Um, ditto, I think, the Sour Patch. Um, <coughs> it is Sour Patch, right? Always, you know, so many brands have ripped it off that I confuse Sour Batch and Sour Patch now. Sour Batch? Sour Patch? Well, whatever. That flavour, the authentic one, only authentic with Ghost, uh, is probably coming in back end of this year. Uh, ditto with the Swedish Fish. Uh, again, Dan gave me samples of those, both delicious. In fact, uh, we've got some tubs to give away for you guys, so look out for a ghost giveaway coming up soon. Um, the uh, Yeah, they're all, all great anyway in the BCA range. Um, 
What else? So that was, yeah, Ghost we saw, caught up with them. New stuff coming. We will have the pancake batter protein coming in soon. There's another new vegan flavor on the horizon. Uh, they're trying a whole bunch of new stuff. But their stand was heaving. Christian Guzman, obviously the, the big, big uh, ambassador of theirs, he was there on the Saturday only, uh, but the queue was unreal. But even then, I mean, with, with Max and stuff, and Rob were there. Uh, Max was there throughout. Rob was there on the Friday and the Saturday as well. A bunch of the girls as well, like Carolina met for the first time, all this kind of stuff. Um, they were there and really buzzing as soon as you walked in. So that's a great space for them. Um, like clothing wise, yeah, Gymshark pulled out a while ago, but Vanquish, which I, I'm not trendy enough to wear these kind of things. I just tend to wear kind of torn metal shirts, but um, the yeah, Vanquish clothing seems to have stepped up where Gymshark used to be. Loads of huge athletes, huge, huge cues, loud music. So that was there right in the center as well. SBD was huge and that had um, kind of Terry Hollands on it and Hathor Bjornsson and stuff like that. So big cues to see those guys, those giants. Um, who else did we see though? Yeah, Merica Labs and MTS over on the uh, A-list uh, nutrition stand. So the um, A-list, James over there, and he did a great job with the stand this year. Bigger and bigger and bigger every year. So absolutely uh, amazing and a good chance to catch up with everyone. Um, so what have we got from them? MTS, uh, we've got a new banana walnut outright bar that's coming soon. Um, and we're out of butterscotch, sadly, but they will be being restocked as well. Uh, we still have almond and things, so that's fantastic. Um, what else? We... Uh, are going to get their pancake mix too. So there's a chocolate peanut butter outright pancake mix that looks great. Mark swears by this one's been using it himself. He's done a lot of videos showing how awesome it is. Um, and then America Labs, loads of exciting stuff here. Um, we have got two new flavors of America Energy. In fact, that's probably what I should be drinking now instead of this, but mm. Actually, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, we've got a uh, victory and we've got a uh, kind of cherry cola. So yeah, Cherry Cola, Victory is cream soda. I love cream soda. I think most people here are probably going to go for the Cherry Cola, but cream soda, I, I, mean, I, you know, I got out of my way to go to Boots and stuff to get cream sodas that they do. Uh, really delicious. Takes me back to being a kid when I loved it. I had a soda stream and stuff. Uh, so those are coming. We have got Independence Cake, which is a birthday cake. Um... Patriot's Way coming out, which is going to be sensational. It's in honor of like Independence Day coming up. Um, and it is uh, a birthday cake one, sweet vanilla as you'd expect, but it's got star-shaped red, white, and blue sprinkles. So we love it when the guys put sprinkles in proteins like this, and he's gone to the, the length of doing star-shaped ones as well. So that's going to be incredible. Um, and we've got from them Supremos. So the brand new EAA, BCAA kind of hydration, like full-on amino complex from them. It's the reworked Merrick Aminos. Three flavors like Rocket Red, Rocket's Red Glare and stuff like that. Uh, they will be coming in. Unfortunately, they, the stock all sold out of Body Power. It was so popular that all the tubs went. So James couldn't give us any, uh, but it is on order and we will have that in a couple of weeks time. And um, he's got some candy coming as well. So like protein packed milk duds. So I'm, I'm not sure that's a public one yet, but uh, that, sound, that sounds fantastic. Very, very pick and mixy. Uh, we'll get them as soon as we can. Um, what else? I met Tom. Tom uh, over at Gym Buddy. Um, they didn't have a stand this year. He didn't have a stand, but he was walking around with his Captain America backpack on, which is totally nuts. Um, and uh, look what we've got here. I'm going to bring these in again. I teased these last week. Am I still rolling? Is the camera still going? It is. It is. It's a long video, but we're there. Um, so we've got the two flavors here. There's chocolate. There's cake batter. So how good does that look? Tom can't wait for these. Uh, more or less the final versions. Um, and we'll have these coming in soon. Obviously, we're going to keep running with the Gym Buddies uh, that you know and love, the iced ones and things like that. Uh, but the American ones, of course, we're getting in the mix. So we're going to make a huge fuss about these. A very different experience, and I'll do a proper video to take you through it. The first thing you'll notice is the icing has gone, uh, but you've picked up, well, a far more uh, convenience, uh, grab-and-go friendly product, as you'll see. Um, and um, it's got more protein in it. So we jump up from the kind of 8, 9, and 10 to, in this one, 14 grams, and this one, 11 grams. Calories slightly higher as well. Um, but yeah, these things, fantastic, warmed up, really, really lovely, cakey texture. Uh, the chocolate's probably uh, working out, where's the chocolate? That's the chocolate. Chocolate's probably working out to be the, the favorite with everyone who's tried it. So we've been through a few of these with the team, and obviously um, trying them with Tom. Um, I quite like the cake batter, though. I mean, it's got a... Um, what, what did I think of that one? I don't know, like a, a kind of, you know, vanilla angel delighty sort of thing to it. It's, it really, it's not just vanilla. It, it's a very um, kind of creamy, like, cake. It does taste like cake batter. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's a weird, like... First bite, the, the chocolate, the chocolate one, absolutely amazing flavour. And these are unique to... Um, Jim Buddy in the States have actually designed these flavours themselves, so only getting these flavouring systems in these donuts. Um, 
but both really nice. I'm sure you'll have fun with them. Maybe a nice counter punch to the other already awesome Gym Buddy donuts that we have. Um, yeah, we, 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 you know, we, we couldn't make more of a fuss of Gym Buddy here in the mix. Have done so for years. Tom's the best dude. And his blood, sweat and tears have gone into making these products. And now the ones coming over from the States as well. There's a slightly different feel to them. Um, yeah, you'll love it. Yeah, but the branding's looking great too. The boxes. Are, yeah, it's, it's so good. So it's great to see these things coming together. Um, oh, what else? Uh, so Ghost, MTS, I did that. Obviously, I spent a load of time with Ben. So it's always awesome to see Ben Carpenter over at PES, over PE uh, Science. So he just lives up the road from uh, Body Power. So he was nice enough to come down and say hi. And we, we had a look around the show and stuff with him. Um, really exciting new stuff coming from PES. In fact, we've got a fuss to make of a whole bunch of stuff. We're a little bit behind, so I feel a bit guilty. Um, but yeah, PES always... Yeah, big home in the mix. Like it's been a bestseller for me for four or five years, like for so long. We do have. Um, I don't. I can't really tell you much stuff, but I promise you, you're going to be incredibly excited about it. And it's yeah, because we, we had the we had Lipovate and we had the Select Smart Mass that came in recently in the new Tropical Twist Raver Pro Prolific. All good. Uh, but not something that we were going to make a mad song and dance about in the mix. Although the Tropical Twist is amazing and we have got a promo coming with this. It tastes like Tutti Frutti and you will love it. Um, but yeah, this one we are going to make a huge fuss. Just you wait and see. Um, and yeah, a couple of weeks on that one. Big, big new PES launch. Anyway, always awesome to see Ben. Sadly, I didn't get, uh, didn't get to join him for cocktails this time. Sorry, Ben. Uh, but yeah, we, we did grab some overpriced healthy food sitting in one of the cafes at Body Power. And that's nearly as good-ish. Um, yeah, other body power stuff. That's it. That's probably the meetings I had. We saw Maddie Swalsom um, over there. Uh, she lives down in the southwest, so down Devon. Don't get to see her that much at the moment. We mainly catch up on WhatsApp and we discuss flavors and things. Obviously, awesome to see her in the flesh, in person. Um, and so, yeah, we're talking about new stuff with her and how things are going. Very exciting. But this is what body power is good for. So it, it's you know, it doesn't matter what stands turn up. It doesn't matter what events are on. It doesn't matter you know if it's if it's you know a horrible rainy day, whatever. It's just it's one time in the year that enough of the sort of fitness community come together whatever your discipline whether it's crossfit powerlifting bodybuilding whatever come together in one place and you can see people you can hang out with like-minded individuals you can get selfies and you can do yeah so it's, it's a still a really good fun space and i'd love to see the show continue it'll still bring brands in and i think yeah just a bit of a reformatting on how they do the days and stuff um, and it would be even better but i'd say yeah don't buy a weekend ticket and uh, I wouldn't worry about the VIP thing, uh, but just um, if you do the standard tickets and go for one day, be it probably the, the, the Friday if you really want to get in early, or the Saturday or Sunday, it's a weekend when more people always turn up, um, do that, it's still worth going. I'm always going to say nice things about it. Would I exhibit there again? Mm, probably not. Uh, I haven't done it for a couple of years and I'm still not swayed to come over now. But I mean, again, we'd have really had fun this year with taking, we could take 3D, Nuts and More, Lenny and Larry's, even Grenade Bars, Quest Bars, loads of these things weren't there. So I was kicking myself thinking, oh damn, we could have had some fun here and I'm sure it would have filled some gaps. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe next year, as I always say. Um, next week, we've got more from these guys. We've got more from Jordan Skinny Syrups, all the amazing ice cream flavors coming in there. We've got Mermaid. We've got Banana Split. We've got Unicorn. It's mad. Tons of them coming. Um, we've got more Swalson bars, as I said. We've got the birthday cake from Applied Nutrition. We have got new Battle Bites on the horizon. Maybe not next week, probably the week after. But there's a brand new Mississippi Mud Pie flavor uh, from Kevin and Sean over here, Battle Snacks. Uh, that's going to be amazing. Deep, uh, rich chocolatey experience that it is. And there's one more coming, probably back end of June as well, that I'm personally more excited for. But yeah, loads of exciting things from these guys. Been quiet for a while, but they, they are coming. Um, and that's it. There's a bank holiday. Next weekend, I'll try and do a video. That should still be fine. We'll have some stuff to tell you about. But probably... Um, uh, yeah, we can't ship out on the Monday, obviously, so it'll be cut off for getting your goodies for the weekend. Uh, we'll be, well, usually like the Thursday, really, to get them on the Friday and stuff. But um, yeah, just bear in mind, we won't be shipping till the Tuesday after that. So bear with us. We're also changing back office uh, software here. So it might be a couple of hiccups in the next couple of weeks. It's keeping me really busy. Um, but yeah, it's coming. And this one, oh, sorry, finally, 3D Oranges is about two weeks out. Those of people have been asking, it is coming. We've got new 3D orange flavor uh, inbound. Um, and they've just teased an American um, kind of a lemonade ice pop freedom flavor in three colors. Looks a bit like, well, the, the French flag more than the American, but it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm sure that'll be my favorite flavor, very lemonade and things. Uh, limited edition, we're going to grab what we can, but we can have it. That will be a little while longer, but um, it is coming. Okay, thanks guys. Go and have a, a well, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, and uh, thanks for watching this incredibly long catch up video, but loads of new stuff, lots of body power things to cover, exciting stuff in the year ahead.
Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.